Yeah. <laughs> Even with uh, some limited information, but our John Ferrugia is joining us in the newsroom with a little bit more insight. John, what have you learned? Mitch and Bertha, we've just been digging into this for the past, uh, well, what, uh, about uh, 40 minutes here since we've uh, gotten the information within the last hour. And what we have found is, is that Austin SIG was part of what is called the Health Occupation Students of America, or HOSA, H-O-S-A. We've looked this up and found that he placed uh, in several competitions for the, for the health professions event. This is a CSI type of fit, uh, event. He was a finalist and uh, he did, uh, he was listed as Warren Tech Forensic Science. That is, it's a CSI type competition. He finished second uh, as a state winner in the leadership conference for this uh, HOSA, that is Health Occupation Students of America event. Now, which inter what's interesting here is, and this is a high school picture of him from Stanley Lake. He's listed in this uh, event as from Stanley Lake, so we believe it is the same Austin SIG that is listed. The competitions that he placed highly in were CSI, that is crime scene investigation, biotechnology, and forensic medicine. So, uh, again, we're just digging into this. We don't know uh, all the particulars of this, and of course we're endeavoring to get more information. But this is clearly a person who had an interest in forensic medicine, in uh, crime scene investigation, and in biotechnology. Um, I would assume that if uh, the FBI and other law enforcement agencies know about this, they're going to be delving into his background and his interest. Given what has happened in this murder, uh, all of these uh, issues could come into play. His knowledge of the human body, obviously, his knowledge of, of, of criminal activity and crime scene investigation. Of course, we've all seen the, the, you know, the, the long-running series, CSI, um, uh, we, and biotechnology. So, so it would indicate if he's placing high in competition uh, for these types of events, first of all, he's got to be a pretty smart guy, has to have, to have uh, you know, uh, average or better intelligence here. Um, in addition, uh, we would think, and you can see things being brought out there to the, uh, to the vehicles, we, as we see, uh, we've seen earlier, uh, evidence bags, those are evidence bags. But Austin uh, Sig had to have at least some working knowledge of crime scene investigations, of how uh, of biotechnology, of forensic medicine, of how police might investigate a crime. And given the heinous nature of this crime, uh, he may have been trying to cover this up, obviously uh, 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 you know, delay at least some identification, uh, and maybe, uh, who knows here, he may have been uh, you know, involved in trying to cover up this crime and, and trying to distribute evidence in a, in a wide area. All right. Again, we're putting up that phone number, John, 303-658-4336. The police are asking that people continue to call Absolutely. the police hot tip line to try to give them uh, more information as they try to find the uh, conclusion to this mystery in the death of Jessica Ridgway. Yeah, 10